right, <laughs> we are back. I had the opportunity there to take a minute and shoot the next week's Yawa with Cat. And now we're headed back out to take care of some pigeons. We are going to be um, working through just setting up that new breeder box, kind of like what I was talking about. And I'm gonna move the birds into that while I'm gone. Right now they're still in their temporary place. I've run out of time to build the new loft and I wanna do it right. And I also wanna keep you guys posted and show you what that looks like and the build process. So I'm gonna roll over here and I'm gonna show you our breeding cages and we're gonna get this thing set up. Kat's gonna come over and help me. I'll let you watch that process go down. And then from here, we'll move birds into it and kind of show you what that setup is going to look like in over the next few weeks. So to start with here, we've got th this one. Ah, it's both of these boxes right here. Set you, aha. All right, so we're gonna get these boxes set up over here and this bad boy's gonna go right here. So we've got plenty of light coming through as well as by the garage door, which will make it a little easier to keep things cleaned up and everything else. So I'm gonna set this up and we'll actually end up doing a time lapse so you can watch how this works. Let's get started. Okay, so we have these pieces all assembled. These are the individual cages that are set up perfectly. And I'll give you a quick demo here. You've got the food and water and grit trays that can slide in, and then individual basket doors for the individual birds. Internet, meet Logan. Logan is helping me with this. Logan, meet the internet. All right, so now what do we do? According to the instructions. Uh, the instructions were in uh, really wonderful English. Uh, place onto and then use. So I think they just sit on here, down on there. This point bottom, and then we can. They're all bent just a little bit. I don't know. This one's bent way more than the others. Something to bend it back on. Oh yeah, those are both one. Yeah, straight bent. We're gonna. Not the way. Different language. Uh, that does show the tabs going in there, but it does show the tabs toward the front, which is not possible. <laughs> Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's the hooks, not the, yeah. So this is it, I think it just rests on it and then you've got weight, cause this has got, I mean, this has a fair amount of weight to it now. So, okay. but those cages, those cages do the rest. See, and this is what I want to have one more. Well, in the loft, there'll be two of these. That'll give us um, up to be able to work up to, so here there's eight. You can put a breeding pair in one of these and we'll be able to work up to 16 uh, breeding pairs over time. And then I want to have one more of these, even if it's just four, because uh, they do sell these as halvesies or another eight, but as a, as a quarantine type deal. So I can take and put them, if I get any new birds in or anything else, I can keep them separated from the rest of the birds that we have to prevent any spread of illness or anything else like that. So 
So let's show the last little collecto of trays in here. And these bad boys just sit here. Keep it real easy to keep things clean. That looks like the right way. Are they complete? Are they perfect squares? No, I think they're off. That. And then that. There. So trays underneath each. And then where are those little bowls at? Here we go. So then to finish this whole collection out, these pretty sweet action little bowls. Each of these bowls is uh, got those. Those are supposed to be like an anti-spill lip on them, and they go in here three deep. So one, two, three. Now, from a quarantine standpoint, this doesn't work a hundred percent well because the birds can drink through here. Crawl up in there. Um, the birds can drink through the wire, eat through the wire, get grit through the wire, but they're obviously going to be sharing with whoever is next to them. Where um, if we needed to truly be quarantining or something like that, obviously they're going to have to be birds further apart. Now I'm not going to throw all of these in yet because I want to fill them up probably with water and feed and grit and get them low rather than pull, put them in, pull them out. That's what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey. Uh, but this is going to be ready now for a bird. So what I'm going to go uh, do, haha, grab the birds and get them situated. There are a few birds that I'm pretty sure are males and females from some of the birds that you've seen in the past, those colored birds that I got. Um, we're going to put those in here as potential pairs with nesting bowls. We're going to get the whole rest of this set up. And then all of my young racing birds, they're going to get their own holes most likely I'm going to run out of holes, but we're going to see how this works. I'll be right back with you. All right. So we've got everybody moved in here and we can already see some interesting interactions. These are some kind of guesses based off of features. I don't really know uh, which is males or females here, but uh, these two birds already aren't really getting along and looking at them next to, I'm guessing that I have this mixed up just a little bit and we've got two males together and then most likely two females together. So I'm going to go ahead and end up moving, switching places here. And um, this bird will try in here. And I don't really want more white on white birds personally. I'm just going to go ahead and switch this guy over there, gal over there and see if these two get along a little better. Now, we're going to have to play a little estimate to see approximately how much grit they're going to go through on the regular, but we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of grit in, and we're going to slide this all the way to the back. I'm going to do one of these for each. This grit will get changed on the daily to make sure that they've got enough and fresh ready to go. I'm doing right now. I've just got a half cup and I'm doing about half of it. So about a quarter of a cup here. And I did throw some nesting bowls in because those birds are definitely old enough to potentially breed if they will end up mating. So these birds have been living together a long time, so it shouldn't be any problem for them to be in there next to each other. And the Brothers and sisters are in together from the racing birds that I got. And then now everybody's got some grit. We go ahead and our same feed here, technically feeding one or two or four birds up here at the top. And we're going to give them, going to kind of figure out what these birds, now these birds on top, what they're going to end up eating. I mean, birds on top are going to get access to a little bit more feed because of the fact that they may potentially be breeding. A little bit extra is gonna be important for them for that. And then the other birds down here below, we're gonna to have to just kind of regulate um, what they are and are not going to eat and we'll figure it out as we go. We don't wanna be completely overfeeding them 
but I do want to make sure that they have access to enough. And then last, but definitely not least important, we're going to put the last little dish in here of water, which just because they're young birds, we're going to end up treating the water and keeping that fresh water every single day. Now, I am already, I just ordered one to begin with, but I'm already definitely liking this, and I'm going to be excited to have two of them next to each other in our new loft for the potential of up to 16 pairs down the road, like I was talking about. And then I'm going to get that next one ordered so we can set it here. And as I'm getting new birds in, we can kind of start that process until the loft gets finished up. But folks, that is it. That is the big pigeon update for today. We did vaccinations. We've got these birds settled into here for now, and we will be keeping you posted with the loft building. Logan's going to be helping me with that. I'm the guy with the pink gun, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you.